What is up gamers and aliens? It is me, Dan, moderately anonymous MTG, and we are back with the greatest EDH content in the multiverse. I got a great crew of guests today. We've got Tyler from the Play to Win crew. We've got Hot Judge Staff and my good buddy, Bad Luck Bandit, AKA Billy from the Dark Devs podcast. Let's go ahead and hop into the deck techs. Hey everybody, just quickly before we hop into the new episode, we have got brand new merch in our bonfire store. You can find links to that right down below the screen or the link to the full store in our video description. We have got brand new designs and new logo by our bud Gold Sabretooth and some awesome new graphics by Bearded Tales of Woe. Go check them out in the bonfire store and pick one up today. First up is Tyler playing Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. This deck looks to make infinite mana to filter through Kinnon to win with either Finale of Devastation or Thassa's Oracle. Next up is Hot Judge Chef playing Tibbet Seller of Secrets. This is a mid-range control deck using Time Save as a one-card win con with its commander or using Thassa's Oracle lines to win the game. In third is Mod playing Kess Dissident Mage. This is a mid-range Ad Nauseam deck looking to either win the game quickly or use Kess as a backup mid-range engine to help close out the game. And last up is Billy playing Vile Smasher the Fierce and Malcolm Kenai Damagator. This is a Grixis combo deck looking to either win with Underworld Breach or with the Glenhorn Buccaneer as a one-card win con with Malcolm. As always, this episode is brought to you by TCG Player. Hit that TCG Player affiliate link in the description to pick up any of the cards that you see in today's video. It's a great way to help out the channel. And we're also partnered with Dragon Shield. Pick up the greatest card sleeves and TCG accessories in the multiverse and support the show. All of these links are in the video description below. And thank you to all of our patrons who make great content like this possible. Become a patron to enjoy Patreon exclusive content, give direct support to the channel, join our Patreon Discord, and even get your deck featured on the show. And remember, if you enjoy this video, it helps out a lot to click that like and subscribe button. It's one of the best ways to support the channel and everyone is highly appreciated. And without further ado, let's hop into the game. Phoenix in the chat saying cast uh, stickers, 10 out of 10 casual deck. I would believe it. Oh, oh yeah. Goodness. I don't know what creature this is that does that, but I, I am already like slavering at the mouth for the first time that someone says you can make an attraction or you can do an attraction or whatever and i say i would rather die i <laughs> i will never ever yeah they might be good i don't know i will, I will never find out but it turns out that it's just <laughs> not the product for friend. me <laughs> i will never be slotting the stickers card or the attractions card into crack and sock i simply i cannot do we have um, any pre-games no not for me not here oh. all right let's do it good luck everybody i will draw for turn command tower Mm -hmm. Um, Chromox pitching Thrasios. Oh. It hurts us. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. we're sad. Um, cast Kitten. Pass the turn. I'll draw. Mana Confluence. One damage for an Esper Sentinel. And I'll pass the turn. I will draw. Mm, we're gonna go Volcanic as land for turn, and I would like to cast a Gamble. Uh, would you like to pay one? No. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six in hand. If anyone in the chat wants to give me an exclamation point, roll six in the chat. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got a two. Talisman of Creativity going to the bin. I am going to cast a Mana Crypt and pass the turn. Yeah, I think we're just going to play a uh, Underground and I'll, I'll pass. One tip. Drew, off for turn. I'm going to play a Manamo School at Water's Edge. I will pay three and two life for a Phyrexia Metamorph. Ooh. That's going to go ahead and come in as a Mana Crypt. I will tap said Mana Crypt for three and cast a Grim Monolith. Now I've got an S for seven. I tapped it for three and this costs two, so I will pay it. And then I'll pass the turn. I'm sorry. Can I lie? Yeah, can I lie? Yeah. Cool. Dan, I'm going to come at you for two. I'm also going to I'm my doing my part. and say that I cast Kess on my turn. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Excellent answer. <laughs> Chief base Kess. Well, You're good. There we go. I'll draw. Odawara to take a damage for a Talisman of Dominance. Tap it for a black, and I will play an Imperial Seal. I'll lose two life, and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> Untap, roll for Crypt, odds is damage. That is one, so we're going to take damage down to 35. We'll draw for turn. Here is a Paluti Dutes as land for turn, and I would like to crack it go to 34. I will get an Underground C, and I'm going to spend three mana on a Bristic Study, and Seth can draw. I'm going to try and swan song that Bristic Study. Can I draw off this one song? Uh, I guess so. This is how you want to play it, huh? Just King Make Seth? Because he's hot? Is that what it is? Uh, even though I am at one card in hand and I'm not anywhere close to this, the combos that I run cannot win through Rhystic Study and can win through Esper Sentinel. So That's fair. I'm going why. to uh, Spell Pierce back. Yeah, no response to that. 
Okay. Now, of course, I'm just joking here about King making Seth. Tyler is very correct. He's not going to lose to his Esper Sentinel. He will lose to a Ristic Study, and especially if he's got two opponents to have a Ristic Study and an Esper Sentinel. So, no, good call. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I will pass. I will draw a card. I'm going to play Training Fen. I'd like to play uh, Dock This is Dockside Trigger Ristic. Nope. I'm going to Bummer. You got it. If there's ever a time that you know you're going to lose the game, it's when a Ristic Study player taps out for it and then passes the turn, and then their next opponent unloads Dockside Extortionist. Cool. Yep, seven. Bummer. Seven. Um, Get ready to die. I would like to cast uh, Malcolm. Oh, uh, Ristic Study Buccaneer. Buccaneer. Yeah, you Oh got my it. god. Okay, Ristic okay. Study on um, uh, Glenhorn Buccaneer. My third spell, I mean... Break Trap. Nope. Tyler? <laughs> I'm passing. I do. Ooh. Ooh. Ristic Trigger. The Ristic's good. Thank you. Passing. Welcome. Oh, I mean, sure. Yeah. Hell yes. Yes. Love that. Ooh, trying to give you a quick game. Um, <laughs> I tried. I guess I will pass it. It's all right. I'll just splice in a good game from a different game and then just edit that as its own. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Odds ouch on this mana crypt. Take three. I'm going to play a Wooded Foothills and I will crack that right away going to 34. Uh, go ahead and grab a trap. Um, I think I'm just going to main phase activate then. I don't want to represent that I'm holding up interaction that I'm not. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, another whiff. Not my night. Oof. Mm. All right, pass the turn. No attacks? Nah. Kidoki. Got the Ristic okay. study up this time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Draw. It was my turn for very sad gemstone caverns. Slightly less sad mana crypt. Yeah, you've got the trigger. The chroma. Trigger. Chromox is going to capture this ranger cap. Uh, I will pay for this. A Grand Abolisher, and I'll use the other Mana Crypt. Mana Floating. Take one, Dan. Gladly. 33. And I'll pass. Untap. Roll for Crypt. Odds is damage. It is even, so we are safe. Draw for turn. Here is a Gemstone Caverns joining the Gemstone Club. And I'm also joining the Dockside Extortionist Club. Okay, so it'll be eight. Many. Too many. Kinda rockin' TBH. One, two, three, four. Notion Thief? Three for a windfall. Passing priority. I'll tap the monolith for four. Command tower for blue and channel Ottawa targeting Notion Thief. Um, I will Cyclonic Rift and bounce the Ristic and pay for the Ristic. You're doing this with the Ottawa on the stack? Yep. That's fine. Ristic to hand. And then Ottawa bounces Thief. I'll spend my four treasures to put Thief in again. Oh, someone else has got it. Why did you say Clinic Rift? Then? Oh, I yeah. didn't realize that you had four uh, treasures, and I damn. otherwise I totally would have. Well, that's the GG. So, yep. Cool. How many people got? Zero. Wow. Three. <laughs> it's on me with five then. Okay. Um, discarding Underworld Breach, Swan Song, Cyclonic Rift, Praetor's Grass, Ristic Study. We'll draw twenty. Discarding March of Swirling Mist. I'm discarding um, Unearth. Uh, Force of Will and Ad Nauseous. So, just so, so I wanted to say this. Oh my I lord! Hope, I was hoping that you had Force of Will for the for the Buccaneer, so I could just unearth it back. Ooh. So it's literally, I just like you need to have not um, that mind one break. spell, mind break. Yep. Yeah. Uh, everything else, I'm fine. Did you have the extra mana too? Yeah, because I had the one. Yeah, treasure. you did. Yep. 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 So you'll notice that we forgot an Esper Sentinel trigger there. And while I wasn't thinking about it at the time either, that is the kind of reason why I was specifically asking Seth if he was casting the Cyclonic Rift with the Odawara on the stack, because I am looking at those four treasures and thinking, I gotta get that Notion Thief back out. I wasn't thinking about the Esper Sentinel trigger, but yeah, there's just a bunch of ways where that stack goes, where I just get to flash in the Notion Thief again over the Esper Sentinel trigger, as long as that Cyclonic Rift is on the stack at the same time as the Odawara. So it's kind of complicated, but it didn't really end up mattering. 20 cards. Okay, I'm going to move to discard now. Throwing away Lotus Petal, Rite of Flame, Simeon Spirit Guide, Badlands, Morphic Pool, Talisman, Land, Arcane Signet, Brain Freeze, Wish Claw, Dual Lotus Lands. All right, well, I would like to go to attack Dan air with my uh, Malcolm. Yep, pick two. Cool. Cool, I'll make a treasure. I'm going to play Spell Skype, and I will... Pass. All right, on top. Roll for mana crypt. No damage. Draw. I will activate cannon. One, two, three, four, five. I will slam this into all. Oof, seems nice. pretty damn good. Hmm. Wait. Oh wait. Not, worse that's not a, a may. Yeah. Not that's a may. not a may. Oh. 
Hey. Just kidding. Bloom I'll take tender. the bloom tender instead. Okay. Great choice. Unfortunate. Um, I will play this water log then for turn. I will come at you with a 2 2, Dan. Uh, block with this Dockside Extortionist. Pass the turn. Untap. I'll roll for my crit. The odds I take damage. That's even. Here's a Felwar Stone. I'll take a damage for a t- I will vote for two treasures. I will vote for Clue. I will vote for Clue. Also Clue. Okay. Dan, I'll come at you with Grand Abolisher. All right, I'll die. And I'll pass. Okay. No, I'll come at you with Grand Abolisher and Asper Sentinel. Damn. Yeah. 28. Nice. We did it. Okay. Untap. Roll for crits. That is evens. We are safe. Draw for turn. A command tower. Um, everyone has no cards in hand. Is that correct? That is, yeah. Everyone has no cards in hand. Oh, but Tyler has the waterlog grove on board, so I can't. Use no, this notion thief prevents that draw too. No, I get it. So I'll die with my consultation on the sack. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I also have a clue, or like three clues. Oh yeah, that's also true. Okay, so then what we have to do here is demonic tutor. I'm going to get this wheel of fortune and I'm going to cast it. Gross. Yep. Goodness me. Uh, would you like to pay one? No. I will draw one card. And then I will discard its Thassa's Oracle, Consultation, Force of Will, Days, Mind Break Trap, Final Fortune, Chrome Mox was the draw. Kind of unfortunate. I mean, you're just going to wheel here anyways. Yeah, I mean, that's I wanted the free mana though. Mm-hmm. So we're going to draw 28. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exactly. Nice. Wow. This seems morally questionable. I know. <laughs> this is something that I can't harp on enough as a storm player. You need to be so aware of the things that are going to lose you the game in the situation. I could have easily just tried to raw dog that consult and Thoracal, but I would have run into all of these draw triggers immediately blown myself out. Always take your time. Always try to figure out exactly what you need to do to play around the things that are going to make you lose. One mana here for a reign of filth. I'll sacrifice my gemstone caverns for black and cast the reanimate targeting my dockside extortionist. Let's go for it. Unless I just have Tainted Pact in my hand. Wait a minute. I do just have Tainted Pact in my hand. Casting reanimate targeting Thassa's Oracle. Wait, no, I only have three, so I gotta fade this one. Seth's got three clues and how much uh, mana? Just two. Two, so I gotta fade two draws. You know what, let's just do the Dockside Extortionist because there's less, fewer ways I'm going to fuck up there. Okay, Dockside coming back. ETB trigger. I guess I have to lose my two life or reanimate. Um, ETB trigger. I'm going to sacrifice my two treasures. Uh, both are blue. 14 altogether. That is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll play this Mox Opal. One of this mana to Chain of Vapor. This Notion Thief. Uh, response. Sure. Uh, I'd like to view the blue to redirect. Yeah, that seems good. Mm. Sure, yeah. yeah. Continuing? I, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. I want to do this the hard way. Go down to 10. Mm-hmm. Uh, Billy, I would like to target you with an intuition. Sure. Okay. The targets are March of Swirling Mist, Snap, and Yogmas Will. I mean, what am I supposed to be doing here? Am I... I don't know. I'm going to kill you one way or another. It doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. I'll give you March, I guess. Snap and Yogg's will go into the bin. March is swirling mist, one target, Notion Thief. Sure. Seems yeah. rad. Okay. Notion Thief swirled. I'm going to cast Kess. I'll respond. Sure. I'll draw her. Displacer Kitten. I'm going to spend two life and get Taxium Probe Seth, and I have a Displacer Kitten trigger. I will target Dockside Extortionist. You ready? Mm hmm. It's a muddle of mix- mixture. Yes. I'm just okay. gonna tell everybody. <laughs> nice. I'll make 14 more treasures. Fewer because I am down for you. Okay. So I'm make it 11. Okay, okay so it's 10. Yeah. Yep. All right, going to 11. So at this point, I can already feel people typing in the comments that this is unnecessary. But let me tell you, when you are at the storm turn, when you're trying to win the game, again, just keep going as deep as you can go. There's no reason not to do all of these actions, right? I just made 14 more treasures. I'm up to like 20 or something treasures now. I've got basically access to my whole deck. I could have won the game a long time ago with just Demonic Consultation and Thassa's Oracle. But instead, I'm doing all of these things to make sure that if there's anything that I don't notice, like that Spell Skite that I forgot about, I'm going to be able to work through any of my 
my win cons to be able to win this game. I'm trying to get to the point where absolutely no one can stop me, no matter how many things I have forgotten on the board. A one for Imperial Seal, Displacer Kitten Trigger, Targeting Dockside, and I go up to 20. If you would all just concede, it wouldn't be so bad. But nobody's done it yet. Show us the win, coward. I'm too scared. I'll cast this Faithless Looting. Um, this time I'm just going to target a cast, actually. Um... How many cards do you have in hand? I have like a million. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, I still think I don't. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Draw two, discard, watery grave, and mana confluence. Um, with Kess, I am going to spend one treasure and use her ability to cast reanimate from my graveyard, targeting fastest oracle. Thoracle ETB. I will spend two treasures and cast a tainted pact. Is that okay? I guess it's at this point I'll crack the waterlogged groove. I'll draw one card. It is not force of will or anything like it. <laughs> okay, tainted pact. Okay, I'm gonna exile down to four lands, to, four cards in the library to be extra safe because everyone's still scaring me. Why? <laughs> you know Why are I'm you man. so afraid? <laughs> I have this thing called clinical anxiety. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's a pretty yeah. good reason. <laughs> okay. Okay, GGs. GGs. Yeah. GGs. Wow. Yeah. All right, that was a super cool game. You know I love to play cast, and you know I love Notion Thief, too. I used to love Notion Thief wheeling people so much back in the whole Breacher meta, but it's not a thing that happens a whole lot anymore. This is a game that we recorded back in April. I can't remember if that is pre-Bowmasters era, but even in a Bowmasters era, if you can get your Notion Thief to stick, it just warps games around. It's such a good card, in the same way that Orcish Bowmasters is a good card, because it works on the same exact axis. Big thank you to my guests for hanging out and playing these awesome games with me. If you want to find them all across the internet, go ahead and check out the video description. You can find their links right down there. And also, if you want to help support the show, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Links to support the show, including Bonfire merch, is all down in the description. Go check it out. Thank you all so much for hanging with us. Y'all have a good one. Be good to yourselves. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, one of the best ways to support us is by leaving a comment and hitting that like and subscribe button. It's incredibly helpful and always appreciated. If you want to support the channel more directly, join our Patreon to catch episodes early, join our private Discord, and get some other awesome benefits. One final thank you to all of our patrons who make great content like this possible. And thank you for watching. Be good to yourself, everyone.